Hello guys, this side is Dipali Chandel and I welcome you all over here to learn AI. Now in this particular video, we're going to cover about LSA. So what is LSA stands for? Latent Semantic Analysis. Now what is latent? Latent means hidden or concealed. And what is semantic analysis? Uh, in semantic analysis, we analyze the relationship between words and their meanings. Fine. Now, see, we can have different words with same meaning. Okay, for example, the word great and the word mince. The word great and the word mince. These two have the same meaning that is breaking into the small pieces. Okay. Fine. Now, or we can have two or more meanings of a single word. For example, let's see the two sentences over there. We have a word novel in common. Fine. Okay. So, this is, those two sentences are here. I liked his last novel quite a lot and we would like to go for a novel marketing campaign. So this novel stands for a book. Okay. This stands for a book and this novel word stands for a new or fresh marketing campaign. Fine. So by, uh, by looking at the sentences, we are able to find the meaning of the word from the, uh, from its, uh, we can say from its context, uh, from its usage. Fine. Now, let's see uh, one more example. We, ha uh, we can have a word bank. This word bank can have, uh, you know, more two or more meanings. So first meaning might be financial institution. And other meaning is river bank. Now we uh, as humans can uh, understand or can capture the context behind the usage of that word. But a machine cannot understand that context. context okay. So here to our rescue, LSA comes into the picture. Fine. Now, let's see one more example to clear out the need of LSA. Okay. Now here we have some food items from the menu of a restaurant. So these food items belong to the American cuisine and these food items belong to the Japanese cuisine. Now, if we want to find out the similarity between these words with the help of count vectorizer or TF-IDF vectorizer, then we will see that these two words will not have any similarity in between. Okay. Similarly, these two words will not have any similarity in between. But we know there's a similarity. What is that similarity? These two food items, these three food items belong to the American cuisine and these three food items belong to the Japanese cuisine. So, LSA will give you that similarity. But with the help of count vectorizer and TFIDF, we will not be able to find that similarity between them. Okay. So, that's why we use LSA. Now, what are the steps involved in the implementation of the LSA? First of all, we will generate a document term matrix which will have the shape M cross N. Now, M will be the number of text or documents and N will be the number of unique terms or unique words in uh, those from those documents. Okay, and this matrix will contain the TF-IDF scores for those words in the documents. Fine. Now, with the help of SVD, we will find out uh, the K number of topics or K number of concepts from this document term matrix. So, the SVD we are going to cover in the next video. And if you know, uh, if you want to know more about uh, TF-IDF and count vectorizer, so you can go through my previous video that I, the, the link I will share in the description. Thank you very much.